Before we get to the video, guys, let me ask you a question. Do you want to own one of these two auto electric furnaces and melt metal like I do? Well, you can. You can own one, and you can own one cheap. You can use the link in the description below and save 10% on a metal melting furnace. So go in the description and check that out. Head over to their website and order one for yourself. Now today, I'm going to make some molds using these as patterns that I made them before. Heinrich's made, if you could see it with the smiley face on the other side. I made these Bigfoot paw prints and I made one of these, I believe it was last week, and I'm going to make a replica of one of these. In today's video, I'm going to be using green sand. It's actually called Tetan Black. I ordered it from eBay. It's a foundry sand. You use water to regenerate it so you can reuse it over and over and over again. So let's get to the video. In this video, I am going to be using this ingot. I'm gonna be melting down this ingot that I made in the past from some scrap metal. Um, it easily fits inside of this furnace. So let's fire this up and start making the green sand mold. All right guys, this is my green sand, my tetan black olive and sand. See how it holds the shape when I squeeze it and it breaks off cleanly because I have just enough moisture in this using water to hold its shape. So now let's get into making the mold. Today I'll be using these small casting flasks that I purchased off of Amazon. They are great for a two-part mold. They lock into place and they work perfectly. More tools that I'll be using today is just a regular little brush to brush away any of the uh, small sand particles that will fall into place. I'll be using the talc and I will be also using the brush to brush around the talc. And I'll use this to carve out around the pattern. You'll see that shortly. I will need to use this to make an indent around the pattern. And of course my ramming hammer to ram the sand and pack it tightly. All right guys, while I wait for these to cool off, I need to add some more aluminum into this furnace for my big footprints.
All right, guys, I think they all came out really good. I'm gonna clean these up with my, uh, with my Dremel tool. I'm gonna cut off the sprues and we're gonna see how they came out after I file all the slag off. And uh, yeah, I think they came out really good, each and every one. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, that about wraps up today's video. I used this Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish on this one, and I think this one came out really good using that polish. Uh, tell me what you guys think. So this one was done. I got two Bigfoot paw prints here, little prints. Not so big, but you get it. And I got these uh, two little smiley face coins. Well guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, smash the like button, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for next week's video.